What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the most recent wars for 2.0. It was our arranged matchup versus North Remembers. Uh, it was a nail biter. Of course, right to the finish. 83-83. North Remembers takes it on. Fairly large percentage margin actually. Our percentage game really sucked that war. Um, and we, I swear we can never be on the good side of one of these percentages, but uh, it is what it is. North Remembers brought the heat here. Uh, both sides had to use quite a few bullies. Um, you know, so it wasn't an amazing performance on either side by the nines. Uh, came down to the cleanup bullies and then pretty much, what do we have? One, I think those were 9.5s. What did they get on us? Where was it? So yeah, they had Zerds and QC actually both three starred there. So anyhow, great war. Thank you, North members. Always a pleasure matching up with you guys there. Uh, have a, quite a few really nice attacks. Uh, I'm just gonna try and make this a sort of quick one. Uh, I've got some a uh, lot of things I want to do this afternoon. So uh, check out Nammers going in on their number 27. <clears throat> just brings a cold-blooded golem, eight Valkyries here, uh, seven healers was what caught my eye on this attack. So um, you're going to see this perfect earthquake go down. See it? Rock out that wall and that one little chunk of wall right there. That essentially opens up the entire core of the base, just leaving these sort of outside compartments to deal with. So um, three healers only go down on the queen. That's another important thing to, to note here. So wall's gonna open up, queen is gonna kinda walk funky here, but the king will um, draw her in. I think she goes around and in the base here, maybe not. I think she continues, continues on the outside. No, there she goes. In the base she goes, gonna start taking this stuff out. In comes, out comes this uh, Pekka. So uh, Nammer's going to drop the poison, which you really do need to do. Slow that swing down. Uh, unfortunately, as soon as the P.E.K.K.A. gets that one shot off, you, you want to make sure you pop that ability. There's a very rare occasion uh, or sequence of events, I should say, when your uh, queen walk is going as it is and then a P.E.K.K.A. comes out that you won't have to burn the ability. But it's always good to do so um, and not lose your queen, obviously. So uh, what I liked about this was drops the Valks now. Um, maybe it is Val it's just Malx, Valks in the CC, uh, but the four healers right on the Valks. So the queen lures them to the wall and then they shred through the wall. Poison goes down, help kind of take care of the queen. A little late on that, but no big deal. Valks are going to continue around the base, but there's this big chunk here and they turn back around and go back into the queen chamber. Just absolute beautiful read on the funnel with all this clump of buildings. Knew that the buildings were going to funnel themselves off there and they are just going to go right back into the queen chamber. So now we're going to see an insane value out of these Valks because remember that perfect earthquake? Well, they have access to this entire section of base. Heal spell. Oh, sorry. No heal spell. <laughs> For some reason, I thought he had a heal there. Uh, but all these Valks moving in, right? Uh, so it took Max Hogs, sorry, in the CC. So you see these Max Hogs in there. They're going to start working on all these outer compartments. <clears throat> just barely has lost any units. Still still has those healers working on those Valkyries. They're just busting through walls. Like, really, these Hogs are a moot point right now because these Valkyries are just going to continue to shred through the rest of this base. But it's clean up time. Nammers <laughs> just smashed it. I like the little gold hammers on those Hogs. Hmm. Tree stars in the bag. Um, 23. Who hit 23? Mick Gravy. Just been a beast for us coming up uh, from Evicta not too long ago to 2.0. Uh, well, well deserved and uh, probably even a little overdue because this guy put some serious planning into his tax here. Um, Grady's going to go ahead right in with this queen charge. Does lose the minion there, but no big deal. Drops two more. Going to continue to create that funnel there. Wants that queen to take out this whole chamber. Oh, I guess she can't reach that cha uh, um, the cannon and the air defense there. But uh, regardless, going to just continue. This little builder's hut is going to yank her right down. And down she goes, and then going to continue on. Has already pulled out that golem. Golem's going to make way over. So uh, easily going to take care of those Teslas popping with no buildings in front of them to, to tank or anything. Drops the poison. Maybe a little late on the golem there because it would have been really nice um, uh, to get just just get it early, right? So it slowly walks to the queen while she continues to take out buildings. But no big deal. Um, you know, poison on a golem is kind of, a, again, a moot point as is. Uh, might save your uh, queen a shot or two, but that's about it. Uh, anyhow, so this uh, cold-blooded golem now right on top of that wizard tower. Going to drop a bunch of wizards here, create that funnel. 
Just wants to open up a funnel for these five Valks and his king. <clears throat> Basically wants to get right into this compartment, jump into this section of base, take out the queen and the king uh, in the process here. So in comes the sprinkle hogs on some of these other compartments. Few on this arch tower, few on this cannon. Just going to mop that stuff up on this side. Then I'm going to save the rest, basically, I believe, for uh, this little section of defenses from 9 to 6. Yeah, here comes that giant. Do a little bit of tanking. Few hogs in right on top of that archer tower. Few more right on top of that mortar. Going to work in, pincer off these defenses, and then make their way down and meet up with the queen down here eventually. Um, is going to lose these hogs up here Um but no, like, look at what he's got left coming in here. All these hogs do uh, are in no danger other than a few spring traps on the way, taking out these defenses. Queen's even doing tanking for that cannon, so absolutely perfect. <clears throat> Just gonna continue to work through this base, but it is pretty much clean up. Gets a Valkyrie and King up there. Just in time, they arrive right with the hogs. Heal spell goes down, gets double duty on the heal. Smashes down that expo, rages up the hogs. Basically, a swag rage at the end here. That's <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Nice job, Gravy. Tree stars in the bag. Beautiful. Number 19, the man Caddick. Six pack this war. I'm thinking of back to pack six packs. Caddick's just been a monster for us. <clears throat> probably getting together with him this afternoon and doing another slay my base so i know everyone's loving the, that series cat is going to go ahead and drop his queen right beside this little uh, nine o'clock chamber get really good value just immediately bust roll this drops the giant um i believe that was to distract the wizard tower but the queen had the wizard tower locked on anyways but whatever now the key to this was that wall break right there that little piece that the wall break opened look at what it lets the queen into pretty much the whole base in fact you see this open alleyway here it touches every the whole base literally like you can get access to this compartment this compartment this compartment maybe not the far part of this compartment but definitely this side that compartment that compartment that compartment right so um <laughs> that was just an absolutely beautiful read on that so goes ahead and sends in a bunch of uh bunch of wizards and a bunch of valks right in on top of this queen chamber they're going to shred through that wall and take down that queen heal spell goes down gonna bring them right back up to health <clears throat> keep them healed as they finish off this chamber here and start busting through this wall towards those teslas another heal spell is gonna have to go down in a second still has a rage in the bag mind you uh so see the valks down they're working on that lava wall gets that heal down just gonna let them beat through the wall right to those teslas and then sends in a bunch of hogs kind of from the, uh, you know, 2 o'clock through the uh, 4 o'clock location. Gets a lot of good value. Um, and then they jump all meat right back up in this heel underneath this bomb. Just absolutely perfect timing on all of that stuff. And everything just meets up in the middle. The queen now is still standing right in the core, getting access to basically every compartment. So Caddick just smashes this base. Ugh. Like, look at all the units left. Two wizards up top. Most of his hogs there. Three healers still up. They're bringing the hogs back up. Just, just smashed it. Oop. Tree stars in the bag. Mm -hmm. So it was 19. Let's check 17. Tony, Tony. LDP has just been crushing it as well. Just one of our best, best Town Hall 9 attackers for sure. Love this guy. So LDP is going to go ahead, send in a hog, try and get that lure, but the queen there just takes it out way too quickly, right? So, um, oh, he did, did get the P.E.K.K.A. there. Thought he had to send in a second hog there for some reason. Uh, but the P.E.K.K.A. comes on out, right? So like I was just talking about, you must hit the ability. It's very, very rare occasion. Now, uh, LDP doesn't opt for the poison there because realistically, after one smack, if you hit your ability and she's locked onto the P.E.K.K.A., the P.E.K.K.A. will die before you take another hit from it. So... Uh, good job with that LDP. That's literally no spells burnt yet. Going to walk into this compartment now. Just basically get all of this juicy value. And then I believe a rage spell is going to go down in here as well. And like look at all, like standing in the middle of this compartment, all of these buildings are targetable, right? In this little horseshoe around the compartment. So she's going to get really, really nice value. It's already started creating its funnel up near this queen chamber at 12 o'clock. Rage goes down, like I mentioned, on the queen. She's going to shred through all these buildings now so in come the wall breakers up top and the valk parade is now in immediately lock onto that defensive queen and get sucked into that queen chamber 
did his perfect job with that. <clears throat> a few gobbies he did. Yeah, so he, he just missed a few gobbies, and they get immediately roasted by those Valkyries in there. <clears throat> Jump spell goes down. He purposely doesn't want to connect it to these other compartments, wants to feed these Valks down, and then has another jump. He's going to drop right there and just basically let them in and down through the rest of the base and then has seven Hogs he is going to use for support on these Valks. Fortunately, they go to the outside here, but no big deal. <clears throat> Three hogs in on that arch tower that the queen cannot reach. Just get perfect value, right? No, uh, didn't take a smidge of damage there. <clears throat> Trigger off that bomb. They do get taken out by the skellies uh, eventually here. <clears throat> but they make their way to the core now. <clears throat> Valkyries are now busted in. King is now in this chamber. They're finishing off the Teslas. Like, just all this stuff going down at the same time. So the hogs do pit her out to that Tesla in the core there. But no big deal. Has all these Valks. Has this king raged up here. Just busting through. They go to the army camp first, of course. <clears throat> but definitely a treat in the bag here for LDP. Very sexy. Beautiful. Okay, so moving on here to 13. MK. I like this because this was sort of a cool base design, actually. Um, I like the idea. I'm assuming it's to try and sort of a sort of a Valk defense idea. Um, it, I, I'm as I'm trying to read this base uh, or how he designed this base and why. I'm assuming it's kind of to to try and force Valks in certain directions and really have a lot of choices to make with uh, jump spells. Like you don't really know exactly which compartment things are gonna end up in with jumps. Um, so I liked it, it's very windy, very kind of confusing to read. So really cool base, but MK just walks in here, absolutely smashes this base. Cold-blooded Golem, right, does its job doing that tanking. Poison's gonna go down, these are all poisonable CC troops, so they go down very quickly. Tesla pops, gonna drop a jump spell right over top of it, gets access to that queen, right? Poison Poison's doing its thing. All those Valks are in there. Defensive Queen is dead. See you later. Uh, all this Kill Squad is now just going to continue to work into the rest of this core of the base and get big, big value. So here come the Hogs. Three in there. Three in there. Three in there. Oh, that was a weird notification. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, and anyhow, these Hogs are just going to continue to meet up with everything here. He does have a heal spell. I think he wanted to use it very early there. A little bit earlier than that would have been great, but no big deal. Just misses the king with it too. How sweet would that have been if you got the king under that heal spell at the same time, right? But feeding hogs in from all these locations now, just protecting that queen down at the bottom with the last few there. Still has one in the bag just in case for some cleanup, but you can clearly see that all these defenses are basically down. Triggers the bomb with a few of them there, but no big deal, right? Still is a giant, still is a, there goes the giant just to help with a little bit of cleanup. Oh, do a little tanking for that uh, defensive king there. That was very smart too, buddy. But that is tree in the bag for the Hogmaster. Nice job, man. Um, yeah, one more here. Unfortunately, neither side really had any uh, TH10 versus TH10 triples. Maybe maybe Zerds did. I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that for, for their side. But our only ones were bullies, so... This will be the last attack I show this recap. My man Warble bring the chocolate attack. I'm seeing more and more just bringing three healers for the queen walk here. Um, and the reason being, like, look, look at what he reads. All splash damage. Maybe that cannon's going to lock on, right? So uh, doesn't need the three healers ever. You know, uses the giant, does a little bit of tanking as well. <clears throat> Distracts that wizard tower, opens up the wall for that queen. Funnel has been created with the wizard. Has that archer even doing a little bit of work over there? So really good job. He's just going to walk this queen into this section. Um, and actually, I believe he wanted it to kind of stay in this section and maybe even start working on that compartment. But you're going to see what happens here. Um, and the queen must notice that she can target that archer tower. Like, watch this. Oh, sorry. So she targets the archer tower, and I think she must notice she can target that cannon by going out and around instead of just step, taking a step back and attacking that archer tower. So she goes out and around, but it works out absolutely perfect, um, other than sort of wasting the rage there, because now the kill squad is going to go in this kind of perfectly uh, placed compartment right to wall, uh, wall break, and then he's going to jump into here, send in his king, send in these eight Valks behind, just a huge funnel, no worries of anything. So the queen is now joined up, the go um, golem is now getting benefit of the healers as well, so the golem's not taking any damage whatsoever, right? 
CC comes out a little bit late on the poison, but down it goes anyways. Just going to help uh, help slow that dragon down so the queen can finish it off. Again, with those healers in there on the golem and helping out, the, uh, I think they were healing the king there as well. Just really prolonged the kill squad a lot. Heal spell goes down, gets the Valks all the way over to that queen chamber. Down goes that queen, down goes that king. Boom, boom, boom. Defensive heroes are toast. So a couple balloons in too, or one balloon in too. I really like that. Hogs are now in on all those sections of the base. There's really only this little nine o'clock area with a Tesla Archer Tower and Wiz Tower to go. And just a million hogs. Two more on the back end even. Beautiful. Look at all those units. Just smash this base warble. Nice job, buddy. Right, so Great War North Remembers 2.0. That is a heartbreak, man. You know, we can't catch a break, it seems. But whatever, working hard, staying positive, staying strong. I like it. like seeing uh, a lot of these, too. You know, our Town Hall 9s getting uh, decent two-star scouts in on our Town Hall 10s. Um, you know, so we're working good. Here's another one right there, too, 60%. So really nice job uh, overall. We just fell a little bit short. Uh, so too bad. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully next time we got caught up. I actually uh, didn't do a few 2.0 replays. Just I, I was behind stuff at work and all the last few wars since the uh, WHF war or sorry the um, uh, what was the last one I did War Wales War from last weekend. Um, we're all really crummy farming wars anyways one of them the guys the other clan didn't even i think they used one attack or something like that so nothing too special that we missed there but uh just thought i'd mention that as well this uh this has been almost a week since our since our last war but a uh, very tough one uh we immediately matched up with reddit omega right after and we are currently in that war it is a very close one as well so i'm definitely going to get that recap out to you guys as soon as possible and uh yeah hopefully i'm meeting up with katic here soon and we're going to get another slave my base rocked out so any Anyhow, guys, I think I'm going to call it an afternoon here, and uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star till then. I'm out.